Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm taking you all the way to Havana, Cuba, a birthplace of a popular refreshing cocktail mojito. This video is part of my cookies and drinks series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. First off are lime cookies because we are going to be using lime juice in the mojito. So uh, I'm starting with darker lime green 15 second consistency royal icing. Then take a lighter shade of green and flood the remaining cookie. After this I'm going to be using very very light green to make the segments. And then you can just let it dry completely. Once dried, use a green edible marker to add some detail to lime cookies. And I'm also using some yellow and again some green. You can also make a half of a slice by cutting a round cookie in half and here is a full full slice All right, these are mint cookies. I used a small leaf cutter from my fall set. And I'm using dark green, 15 second consistency royal icing. While the icing is still wet, take lighter green and make the veins. While still wet, use an inner tool to shape each little line into a point and let these dry. Now the main ingredient in mojito cocktail is white rum, so I'm going to show you how to make a Bacardi bottle. I'm starting with a cup with white royal icing and then we're going to outline and flood the whole thing with light blue. Let that crust and then start with a label. I'm starting with a red round and I'm going to let that crust again and then add the white label. Let it dry completely and then you can start working on the logo. So I'm going to be doing a bad image with edible marker. You can find a link to where, cook, where to get the edible markers that I will be using down below in the description box under the video.
make the eyes with a little bit of yellow rule icing, just a tiny little dot. Use a needle tool. And now with edible marker again, you can write Bacardi. And I'm also using some yellow around the label. And now we are moving on to the club soda. So for the club soda, I am going with Canada Dry, starting with the blue, dark blue. This is a royal, royal blue, using 15 second consistency, and then coming in with a sky blue, 15 second consistency. And I'm going to blend these together. Let that crust for a couple minutes and then you can add white on the bottom and also on the top. When doing the white section on the top, avoid the very, very top. That's where the cap is going to be. We'll do that later. Let it dry completely and now we can make that Canada Dry logo. So I use the paper template and edible marker to trace the outline of the logo on the icing. And now I'm using green real icing followed by white real icing. While the white is still wet, take yellow royal icing and um, try to get as close as you can to the map that you see on the logo. can't really see it in the video but on the right hand side I had my phone with a logo right there so I was looking at it as I was piping. Here I'm doing the cap. Use a needle tool to drag the icing into the points. Now use edible marker to write club soda and then we're going to add a crown at the very top of the logo there. Alright, so that's done and the la last thing we have to do is to write in red, piping consistency, royal icing, Canada dry. And here is the mojito cocktail. So I ended up using a tie cutter and I trimmed the top. Or well, actually this was a bottom to make it look 
like a glass. I'm starting with light blue royal icing. Let it crust for a second, uh, for a minute or two, and then use light green to flood the whole thing. Now I'm going to be doing what's, wet, what's called wet on wet, making the lime slices, starting with a dark green and then bringing the lighter green in there and then I am going to use white, I'm not going to use that super light green because I used the light green to make my base so I think it would kind of... Uh, it, was, it, it would fight each other <laughs> in the terms of color. So um, you can add another line like this. And I'm also going to add ice cubes with white royal icing and a few bubbles here and there because we are going to add club soda to mojito. And we also need to add a few mint leaves. So for the mint leaves, I'm using the same green I used for the larger cookies. And then with my needle tool, I'm just going to frag the icing so it looks more like the leaves. And then use lighter shade green to make the veins. I'm going to let this dry completely and then we can use light blue edible marker to finish the ice cubes. And the very last thing is to attach the lime slice. And there you have it, mojito cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this set. Let me know if you have suggestions for future videos for my cookies and drink series. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.